and we are rolling. Welcome back to another episode of the best podcast ever. Ever. I'm Welcome. not going to say any outlandish shit. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, she is. Sydney's a creator at the Bulk House in Phoenix with us. And we're just having her on the pod for a little bit, getting some questions, getting to know her better. So what's like the first thing like you could say about the Bulk House Phoenix? Like having a good time or what? Yeah. I mean, it's nothing like I've ever done before. Done I've never even like been to like a content house before. Like you just go like for fun. So I feel like with Bama Rush, though, with Bama Rush, I feel like everybody does social media in Bama. I think kind of. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people that do, but it's like, I don't know, not like this. Like, I haven't been around, like, many creators like y'all. Like, this is the first time I've really been around, like, a bunch of content creators and, like, gotten actually, like, inspiration and, like, collabed and all that stuff. Speaking of inspiration, I saw Sydney, or I saw in my own phone, uh, Sydney was, like, uh, favoriting all of the videos, so then she could go back and make them. She <laughs> I was so inspired. <laughs> but from what? Yours? From yeah. What? yeah. No, I <laughs> wanted to make the video of y'all just like in a line, and it's like singing the songs. I was like, okay, uh, the, the classic that. lineup. Yeah. yeah, I feel like now that I'm in the South and like my little Southern outfit with my cowboy boots on, I feel like I have to. But aren't you from the South? No. Where are you from? Again? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. Is that not in the South? No. Yeah, I was about to say, is that not count as the South? No, it's in that's the SEC. It, it's, it's considered the Midwest. Midwest. Yeah. Really? It's in the yeah. SEC though. Yeah. That's, not? That's why I'm they just the joined the SEC this year. Okay. I believe. <laughs> so how did you end up at Bama if you're in Mizzou? Well, I just I wanted to get out of St. Louis. I did not like it anymore. I just kind of outgrew it. Like you know, like all the people, everything. I was like, I want to try something new, and I wanted to go to a school for fun. And Alabama was like ranked number one on barstool for like partying and so i was like okay looks like that's where we're going so that's where we ended up i love that she made her college decision (laughs) by which one was number one on barstool for partying i mean i knew like i knew wherever i ended up i'd get a good education i just what do you mean time wait hold on what did you say by the pool today what did she say she said by the pool today i haven't learned anything in college i've been having a great time (laughs) but me and fisher were talking to her and dalton might be shocked by this try and guess her score on the act yeah Sydney Thomas on the ACT. Yeah. She probably got like a 31. 33. 33. You are 33. That is 33. insane. 33. Oh I got a 14. A 14? So you're smart. Yeah. I and consider myself smart. That's you can insane. go anywhere you want. But I chose Alabama because I just wanted Barstool. to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Barstool. Wait, that's so impressive. That's what I like is like nobody knows. Mm-hmm. Like I like to just kind of like act like, oh, the dumb blonde. But like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to judge a book by its cover, you would think that. She is like the dumb blonde. Like, thanks, really. Dalton. Thank you. <laughs> no, wow. I'm saying, well, hold well, on. That's a little back. No, no, but when, say. hold on. I said, look. I said, judge a book by. Once you have a conversation with her, she's a smart girl. She's very intelligent, and I guessed high on the ACT for a reason. I said 31, <laughs> 33. Like, I didn't uh, know she was a that's genius. True. I said yeah. 31. What would I guess Luke's ACT was? I probably would have guessed like a 12. Boy, you're too <laughs> off, buddy. It's a 14. I'd take a dump the whole time, so I'd speed through it. <laughs> Okay, and I didn't care. Fisher, what was yours? My best one was 21. <laughs> Super sorry. 22. First time I took it was I feel 15. like that's pretty average, like 20 I got a 15 20s. my first try, though. But I literally just circled, like, B the whole way through. Oh, yeah. no. Nah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this guy just built it all oh, over his dude. Life. <laughs> I spilled coffee last time, and now you just dropped a How Celsius. How you do that? I literally yourself. watched you, and you just went like this and missed everything. Those pants need to be washed. There's too much on there. He walked out of the restroom and had three <laughs> piece spots on his shorts. He was like, crap. What can I say, man? We got into an awkward conversation. I'm just sitting there with all you guys talking about how you shake it off after you pee. I'm like, okay, same. <laughs> Sydney has been getting into a lot. She's yeah. Because, like, I mean, she's been kind of like hanging out with us a lot. Sydney's kind of becoming one of the boys. Like, she's a dog. Well, I she's feel like dog. whenever, like, for me and Fisher, like, when you have girlfriends and then, like, you're around other people, we don't, I don't care at all. I'll <laughs> say whatever. I'll say whatever. I'll do whatever. I'll make myself look so dumb because I don't care. The yeah. only person I want a good opinion of, like, I want my girlfriend to just, like, think I'm attractive and cool and collected. <laughs> yeah, but, not dude, if not, if, like, I'm, like, just, dude, I could be a complete just menace. I don't care. Yeah. What does your boyfriend think of all this, like, being out here? He's happy for me. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I, I heard some. He's really supportive, which is really nice, but he's just, like, happy I'm doing my thing. and That's really cool, yeah. and I feel like that really shows a very confident dude. Yeah. With his girlfriend going out to a house, you know, he, yeah. doesn't, he doesn't know exactly what you're doing. If you I was know. in his position, I would freak out. Exactly. <laughs> like, and as a like, girl, I would totally freak out, but, like, he's so chill about it. 
which is awesome. And that's the kind of boyfriend that you want is the one that's like confident in himself. Yeah. Confident yeah. in your guys' relationship. Yeah, so. I would not be able to be with someone that wasn't like that, especially with everything we do. Yeah. Like I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna tip my cap to your boyfriend. Um <laughs> I've definitely been posting a lot of stuff on Snapchat and it's none of it's like personal. Just, you know, I'm in yeah. the gauntlet, so <laughs> the gauntlet. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the next topic. Shout out Sydney's boyfriend. Let's talk about Bama Rush and you're a sophomore at Bama right now, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's get into a little Bama Rush action. Um, okay. So you joined a sorority your freshman year, right? Yeah. I rushed, and I joined one. I was never initiated. You were never initiated? No. What is I that? got kicked out. I don't know what that means. That. I don't know much about the sorority thing. Yeah, so, like, you rush and everything. You find out which house you like, and then you have, like, this, like, initiation period. They have a bunch of these rules for you and all this stuff, and then you get initiated, and you're kind of, like, set free. You make is it, it like, hazing or no? No, it's not hazing. It's just, like... You can't go to the bars. You can't like okay. stand on elevated surfaces. That big thing at the bar is getting elevated. Yeah, <laughs> getting on a yeah. surface elevated where surface. you look better. Well, yeah, and they have like yeah. they yeah. have like a specific elevated surfaces at frats, like little and you stages. Can't get up there. You can't get on them. I, I don't <laughs> oh know gosh. why. I guess they just don't want to make their sorority look that's bad. That's crazy. But guys, I feel like it, I feel like that's probably because they don't know the girls that are getting initiated yet, so they don't know if they're gonna do something stupid up right. there. Right. No, I mean, lo like looking back, it, t it makes total sense. Like. You don't want to get someone in your sorority that's going to make a fool of themselves, and then they're associated with the sorority, so it makes sense. But I just was like, dude, I'm going to stand on whatever table I want to. So is that why you didn't get in? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, it was a it was a mix of a lot of things, actually. First of all, I went to the bars, which I shouldn't have, but I did. I was like, dude, I'm not coming to college to like not go out. So I went to the bars and then also went on stage on an elevated surface. And then I also had like this stalker that was like stalking me for like months and months and months. He like emailed my sorority all this like crazy stuff about like threatening to like expose them and all this like crazy stuff. So I had a meeting with them about that, but it was just like everything combined. They're like, you're a liability. <laughs> How'd you get away from this? <laughs> uh, well, How'd you get away from this? I went to the police about it and everything and they're like, okay. you have to tell them to like stop contacting you and then you can file a police report. So I told him to stop, and I was like, I'll follow a police report against you if you don't stop. And then he just, like, stopped. I actually have a guy that messaged me. He messages me every single day, and I'm going to probably have to do something about it. It's weird. It's bad. Yeah, I was, like, what? scared. After yeah. I found these, like, texts and everything, I was, like, actually really scared. And then I got, like, a letter from, like, the dean's office or whatever, and they're like, you need to have a meeting with us. Like, we're concerned for you. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm confused on how you get kicked out of Bama Rush for that, though. Well, I think, too, a part of the reason was that, like, I had kind of a following going into college. Like, obviously not where it's at now, but, like, somewhat of a following. So people knew my name there. Not to sound like that, but some people did. So they're like, okay, well, if she's going out to bars, standing on elevated surfaces, and people know who she is, already know she's associated with this sorority, like, it's just not a good look for them. Uh, so I like it made sense, but also at the same time, like there was other girls that were doing the same stuff, even worse, and they were like not getting kicked out. It ended up working out for the better, though. Like I'm so much happier on the outside of everything. What a sorority! Like, why would they not want someone with the following? I feel like it'd be good marketing for the sorority. Uh, yeah, it just if you're a liability, then no. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I like I'm you know I'm my whole point of going there you was can't like have fun. for fun, That's yeah. Okay. And yeah. it's not like I'm doing anything bad. It's just like they want to come off as like rule followers and all that stuff. And Too if they sure. have those rules and I'm not following them, like mm -hmm. with people watching, like it's. And bad Bama, one. Bama Rush has a ton of attention around of it. So they can't have any like. Right. Well, there are girls in the sororities that do have a lot like large followings and stuff, but they are just a lot more contained. <laughs> I like to have fun. So, yeah. so I'll go have fun. Hazing? They don't no. haze? No. I know like the frats. Frats, are, I saw a frats video. are another story. Insane, I saw a video like probably two days ago of like this fraternity and they put this guy in a trash can and then had all the other guys around him chug milk and just puke all over. Yeah, yeah, they do the most they make you eat absurd, it. absurd I stuff. Uh, Imagine Luke trying to get into a frat. Oh, no, I just... Dude, One I day and he's sucking everybody. Oh, dude, I'd, I'd lose my mind. Yeah. No, I'd I've, lose it. It, the hazing with the guys in the fraternities is insane. So Sorority looks at, I guess, looked at Sydney and was like, well... So many people are watching her. We got to be super careful here. Daily Mail like released, I think, two articles about it and like specifically about me. And it was I like I read through the articles and like they made up a bunch of stuff in it. And it kind of looked bad on my part because 
they did an interview with me, but they kind of like with the things I said, they kind of took them and twisted it. So they like made me seem like I was kicked out because I was too popular and like made me sound like I was trying to say it's because I'm so famous that I got kicked out. I was like, it's not that like, I yeah, the following played into it, but that wasn't the only reason I'm not trying to sound like, you know, so I'm you, cooler than everyone. Yeah. You came into college with like a following, right? Yeah. Like okay. small following. Okay. But. That's what those like art, main articles do. They twist stories. Yeah. To so make people bad. I learned in. that so quickly. So bad. I will never, ever, ever again do that. And I, if I do, yeah. I'll be very careful what I say. I saw an article uh, yesterday that it said, Mark Estes is ready to have kids with Kristen. Yeah. <laughs> I what? was like, are you kidding me? In the interview, he's just like, yeah, we're just kind of, you know, seeing where our relationship goes. And then they twisted it. It made it seem like he was ready to have kids with her. <laughs> so you work for the Cardinals. Yeah. How, how did that become? Yeah. Well, I've always grown up going to the Cardinals games because my dad works for them. I never really thought about it, but like one game I went to, like I was talking to like the guy he works with and he was like, you should do Team Fredbird. I was like, honestly, like that'd be kind of fun. So I applied and everything and then got the job. We're like there to kind of like hype up the fans and everything, like just kind of enhance their experience. And then we also do like interviewing. So we'll like interview fans before the game and like be on the big screen and all that. You're still doing it? Yeah. I Whenever I go back home from school, so in like a couple weeks, I'll go back. The season just started, so I'm like missing the first couple home stands, but I'm there pretty much every home game. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, what about school? Well, she like. You don't care about school, dude. No, 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 no. After school's over, I go home for summer and I work every home game until I go back to school. You're going to do that this summer? Yeah. There's no way. The only reason I say no to that is because you guys know how long an MLB season yeah, they is. They play a ton of games. Yeah. It's. Every other week, pretty much, but, like, the whole week. So I'll work every single day for, like, seven days straight, and then I'll have, like, a week off. I guess that is kind of nice, thinking about it from that way, because it's 100, yeah. 162 games. 162 games they play, and then... That's I, ridiculous. 162 days, they play a game. Spring That's training. ridiculous. Maybe Luke's like thinking every home, every home game. He's thinking, like, 12, 18, 20 games, maybe. Why would they do 162 games? Like, there's how many teams are there in the MLB? That's I right. don't really know much about baseball. Like, I kind of do, but not really, like, the teams and everything. I don't know anything about that. Well, you know the Cardinals, that's yeah. for sure. I feel like once you beat a team once, like, why would you play them 50 more times? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, yeah, you play, like, a three-game series. Like, in college, like, we'll, we'll go to Arizona, and we'll play Arizona Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then go home. What? Was your goal to go to the MLB? When I was younger, I think my goal was to go to MLB, uh, like, in high school. And then I went to college, and I guess I just didn't play well enough. But I would, I would say like that was my dream. Yeah, it would have been cool. I liked, yeah. I love baseball. I still do. Um, but I just wasn't good enough, or I didn't play good enough. Is that know. why this podcast is called Benched? Uh huh. Because were you benched? Yeah, I got benched. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did get benched, and then my baseball career kind of fell off. And then I was like, okay, well, I like to talk. Now I, you're a TikToker. Well, talk. we like we named it Bench because he got benched. Kind of his thing, but. We just like it's a cool brand name because me and Fish were starting. It's kind of like everything. an underdog thing. Yeah, it's more like um, you know how like when you're sitting on the bench with somebody like just hanging out. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Okay, it's not. I mean, it makes sense. Like, yeah, it's a cool name. Just like sitting down, hanging out on the bench. Except like this isn't actually like real bench talk. Like the actual bench talk is it's completely foul. I didn't understand like how much of a grind like professional sports is. Like that's not anything to play around with. Even college sports, dude. College sports. It's like a. Full job. Full, full-time job. Yep. I never had a spring break. I mean, over Christmas, it's the longest season. Um, it doesn't suck, but the grind sucks. Like and it's always out. so hot out during mm. this season. Yeah. It's all through the summer. It is hot. I remember DMing you like two years ago and was like, yo, want to come with us to, I don't know, sometime during summer. And you're like, no, I got baseball. So I was like, okay, just let me know when you're done. And I DMed you like <laughs> five, six months later. And I was like, it was spring break maybe. I was like, you should come here with us. You're like, Nah, dude, baseball. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like, because, dang. I mean, with baseball, you you play, you have a fall season, and then you have your regular season, and then you go to summer ball. So I've been shit. I, I lived That's in, brutal. Yeah. yeah. I lived in Waterloo, Iowa for a full summer. I lived in Portland, Oregon. I lived in Traverse City, Michigan. Traverse yeah. City, Michigan for a summer. So I've been all over the place. I never really had summer. So Now I, you I, just take your shirt off and dance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't dance. Do, would you say I'm a dancer? I'm not a dancer. I mean, you just stand in front of a camera. Yeah, yeah, know. you've ripped a couple lip dances. sync. I don't know, like yeah. I, I mean, count with I'm, your hands. I'm a podcaster now, Sydney. Actually, 
I'm, okay. a, I'm, a, I'm a big time podcaster. And oh, it's big time. A, you're a big time guest. <laughs> we all are. Yeah, this podcast is massive. It's massive. <laughs> We're, it's in the building stages. Yeah, it is. What do you think about all the clickbait that's been going on around? I see her all over my uh, clickbait for Snapchat. Snapchat. My whole Snapchat's like just yeah. full of Sydney. Sydney. Well, I don't even see it half the time. Like, I get DMs from people all the time. Like, I saw a picture of you on Snapchat with some like title and it was not a good title. I don't even know half the, the half the times I'm like posted on that, but I mean, I don't know. Like, what does your boyfriend think when he sees that? Uh, I don't know. Like, he's not like he he more thinks of it as like if I'm intentionally doing something to like make myself look a certain way and I'm used in that sense, then like he's kind of not okay with that. But like, and the, for other things, like if it's totally out of my control that you're using a picture of me from like my Instagram or something, like it's there's really nothing you can do about it. Mm-hmm. That's what I've seen is like just like one picture of you and then who like the Nelk boys or whoever like will put that with like the Nelk boys picture was real time though. Yeah, yeah but it's not she was Miami. it was just her smile. You were just yeah. like standing there. That's the thing too. I was like I I didn't know that that was going to be the purpose of the picture. Like I was just yeah. like, you know, taking a picture with a friend whatever and then post it all over and so did, some did, captions. Did Nelk come up to you and were like, "Can I take a photo with you?" Or how yeah, well like I knew Salim somewhat. Like I DM'd him before about like shooting a video or something, but I was like, yeah, we know each other. He's asking me for a picture. Take a picture. I didn't think it was going to be posted like, oh, Salim's dry streak's over, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah that crazy is crazy. Comments. <laughs> they, that's crazy. They posted Sydney, and it just says, Salim's dry streak is over. Like, that's just so messed up. I would be, that's if insane. I was a boyfriend. Yeah, I, I would, felt really bad because I was like, the amount of people that follow Nelk that he's friends with that, like, mm-hmm. would send him that. It's just yeah. I felt so bad. You That's can't be mad at Sydney. No, because Sydney. Like, yeah. No, because Sydney's so nice, and she was probably just like, "Yeah, like take a photo of me." Yeah, literally. Well, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking that's what it's going to be used for. I was just like, "Yeah, a picture, whatever." Do you like, care? Or do you like? I don't care, just yeah. because it's like this is the whole business. It's like putting you're putting yeah. yourself out there by being on social media and all that. Like I don't care, but at the same time, it's like at least don't put a caption like that. Like, like that. Yeah. if you're going to use a be picture respectful. of me or something, right? Like. Don't make me look away. I'm not because mm-hmm. that's not at all the situation. That's not what I want to portray myself as. So, that's the only thing. It's like if you want to use a picture, go for it, but don't put some outlandish caption on it. Yeah, which is crazy. And Sydney's like not even like on Snapchat that much. I mean, you should be. Yeah. We should put her Snapchat on the map. Add the Snapchat, guys. What is your Snapchat? Sydney with three Y's. Dot Thomas. Sydney with three Y's. Dot Thomas. Yeah. The amount of clickbait they've been using with your picture. If they would just give you an et a couple of times, yeah, I mean that's what I said. Even I, I put yesterday, I put Sydney as my clickbait with me. It was I asked her for a photo, <laughs> and like if that got like one point two million views, and yeah. as long I feel like it's fair to clickbait somebody as long as you add them. I think that's fair. I think that's if fair. you put their at on and you're like okay, like we both understand that. I'm trying to help her, and she's gonna help me too. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I posted how many followers did you get on Snapchat yesterday? Like. I went from 13 to 17, okay? Yeah, which is which is nice. Which is nice, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, you don't at me ever when you we post to, my quads and butt. Yeah, that was like crazy. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'll start doing that. Dude, and then there was a while there you were using that picture of me sleeping in my short shorts with my butt out. That was yeah. good. Um, wait, Sydney, <laughs> Sydney, say you're at for Snapchat. Tell the people what, okay. you're, what you're saying. All right, my Snapchat is S-Y-D-N-E-Y-Y-Y dot T-H-O-M-A-S. Sydney Thomas. With three Ys. With three Ys. There we go. That's it. She's going to get a ton of ads on this clip. It's going to be awesome. A yeah. Huge clip for her. I wonder so if she great. just has like, wonder if this clip gets like two million views and Sydney's got like two million subs She's on She's the only creator. Dude, that could be realistically. My like, Snapchat's the... elbow underscore 23. <laughs> <laughs> they are. What are your They're comments They're so about? bad. There's like, I mean, the classic, like, oh, everyone can have a mic now or who gives these guys a mic and then. The go-to one is we need to make podcast equipment more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they even put that on like established podcasters stuff. I know yeah. it's on everyone, but like ours are majority. I mean, we've that. gotten 1.5 million views in the last oh, wow. 28 days on clips, so that's pretty good. They're just mad that they don't have a podcast like ours. Yeah, like what? They're just mad they're not a part of the bench fam. Dude, uh, I had someone call me the other day from UTK. He's like one of my, I mean, I thought buddies. And he called me and was like, let me get a feature on your podcast. I thought he was like calling to mess around with me, like joke around. And then I just hear a bunch of dudes in the background start laughing. And I'm like, bro, it's like, it's not that, that's not Dude, funny. Dude, who was it? I'm not going to say names on here, but like, it was just, it was weird. Cause I thought he was, do I know like, him? Probably. I thought he was a cool guy, but then he called me and just started like 
d- definitely making fun of it. And yeah. I was like, what's the point? Okay, well, that'd be frat, funny, dude. It was show up to the place and <laughs> give them a feature. Yeah, we'll give them a feature. Yeah, we'll solve it real no. quick. I just thought it was dumb, though. We'll I make a, a good cool story guy. out of it. Yes, sure, Look at my thumb. I can't Gosh. make it stop. What is happening to me? I don't know. Dude. You're twitching. It's your ticks. That's not a tick. <laughs> That's actually just... I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Fisher, come on. No, but look, Fisher's our tech guy, dude. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't talk a lot, it's because I just do the background stuff. I just like to sit here and enjoy listening to them. No, yeah. Fisher's been doing great. <laughs> well, with all the exposure that you've been getting recently all over the place, Snapchat, Instagram, where do you want your career to go? Um. Well, I would hope it would totally skyrocket. Yep. But, but what, <laughs> what, what does that mean? What does skyrocket mean? Where do you? Like, I want to grow my platform as much as I can. And just continue to, like, post what I've been posting and then obviously, like, get partnerships with brands and just gain more exposure. Like, I would like to do more collaborations with people. Like, this has been great. Um, I don't know. I just, like, I, I see it in my future and I'm kind of putting all my hope into it and just going to so do you see yourself? There. Do you see yourself being more of, like, a fashion influencer, a model, or like, do you like talking? What do you like to do? Well, I kind of just, like lifestyle content just like what I'm doing like I'll just post like outfits like where I'm at what I'm doing what my friends are doing just like kind of just bringing people along with my life I know there's a lot I need to work on I I need to get on top of that it's like kind of hard because with like school and everything I'm trying to like balance everything but I feel like next year when I'm online I'll have a lot more time to like dedicate to that Mm -hmm. Sydney, Bet. thank you so much for coming on, guys. Everybody go give her a follow and add her Snapchat so then she doesn't keep getting <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you so much. We will on to our next guest. On to the next one. Adios. Thank you for having Adios. me. Adios. Yeah, uh, yeah, we had a sub on the bench here. Um, we are now sitting with Gemma, and she's also a creator at the Buck House Phoenix, and we are going to let you guys get to know her a little more, ask her some questions, and... Uh, See what's going on. So the first question is, what do you think about this? You having fun here at the house or what's going on? Yeah, I mean, I think it's amazing. I mean, I would have never thought that I'd be here for sure, but it definitely is like a lot of fun being with everyone. It's a great time making content. So I really enjoy myself for sure. Nice, nice. And this is kind of your niche thing, fashion, isn't it? Being Western for sure. Like this is a whole new vibe for me. Like I'm really not Western. I'm more city type. Okay. You know, girl, I would say, like, how I dress. So being okay. Western is... Which is crazy to me because you grew up on a farm, didn't you? Yeah, I live on, like, an 80-acre farm. I got, like, goats and chickens. <laughs> and your niche is city? Yes. How does that work? I don't know. I really don't know. When did that become about? When did your you figure out your niche? Um. Well, I started posting on Instagram, and everyone was kind of just, like, seeing the clothes that I was wearing, and I had a lot of, like, more city type brands like reach out to me like with the clothing and stuff like that so i started wearing it and then that's how i got most of my brand deals was just from that type of thing this is like my first time ever in western clothes Hmm. but i love it Mm -hmm. have you ever lived in a city um well i lived in nashville for 10 months so nashville is super where'd you grow up on a farm what state uh pennsylvania so what kicked you off into because i know you do a lot of modeling don't you Right, yeah, I yeah. do. So what got you introduced into that? Um, so I actually went to this boutique, which I was just looking for a dress, and this girl was like, hey, um, we want you to come to New York Fashion Week. So I ended up flying to New York like two weeks later, and after that, I just started doing a lot of modeling for different types of dress companies and everything like that, and then it kind of just went up from there. What is okay. your What is your favorite thing about doing social media? I think the connection that I can make with my followers. I feel like a lot of people don't really show like multiple sides of them. And I feel like a lot of people think like us being influencers, like our life is perfect and we we don't get sad or we don't get mad. And I feel like for me, I really show like very different sides. Like I show breakup sides of me. I show sad sides of me. I show happy sides of me. So I feel like for me, being relatable and making the people know that I'm just like them I'm not someone Mm -hmm. you know out of the ordinary I do like that and I feel like sometimes that gets thrown into the drama category which is crazy because like some people see it as drama some people see it as she's just showing everything showing her whole life which is awesome and I like that yeah um and some people may be like oh my gosh like that's drama no it's not drama that's just she posts about her life 
Like that's what's happening to her right now. I feel like sometimes that's a misconception the internet gets. It can yeah. be scary though, like putting your relationship and like the breakup side of things out there. It can be, uh, <laughs> it can be quite the ride if you don't mm-hmm. do it right. So that's. I think Gemma's been doing it right. I think she has. I think yeah, she- I mean, it's it's subtle. Mm-hmm. It's out there. It's subtle though. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, it's definitely out there, but for me, it's just entertaining it for me is has became become like exhausting so it's just I just don't do it anymore I just like don't have I actually don't have like the physical like mental energy to entertain it or address things anymore so it's like okay you're either gonna think this or you're gonna think that and regardless it is what it is I don't care I like that about Gemma I like that she doesn't really care what people think (laughs) She doesn't give a shit. So you have to be, <laughs> especially if you're going to be posting yourself out there. Yeah, if you're going to talk like about we relationships do. and you like can't. Or you can just posting yourself. Like you, I, I, get, I mean, we all get horrible comments and I don't care one bit. <laughs> yeah. The past 50 posts, this guy, same guy has commented that I need a nose job and I have a potato nose. <laughs> dude, I've seen that guy. Look at my life. That guy needs a nose job. I'm like, yeah. bro. I'm like, dude, come on. Every day. My response is my girlfriend loves my nose. Do you actually respond? <laughs> Sometimes, what? not in the comments, but like on live, I'll be like, "Oh, that's funny," but that's funny. My uh, girlfriend loves my nose, actually. <laughs> I guess is modeling and social media two different gigs. Right now, I'm classified as like a social media influencer because that's what I do. But I feel like long term, like I really want to be in the more of the modeling category and have social media on the side of it. Do Just you do you think modeling is a little bit um, toxic ever? Like, because you have to look a certain way and you get paid off the of base. I feel like it's way less toxic than social media. Well, here. actually, no, because, you know, you can walk into a casting call and you could look your best and dress your best and you really feel confident going in there. And they take one look at you and they're like, oh, you're too fat or you're too skinny. We don't want you. That's and where it's like it gets toxic. And you room. just you just look yeah. at them with a smile and you say thank you and you walk out of the room and then you go deal with your emotions later. Oh but my gosh. that's just kind of like what, what you have to it? do. I mean, I got told because... I was too small, I was too skinny that I couldn't walk in a runway show. I mean, so I said, okay. Yeah, like, okay. Like, what? Yeah. Sounds good. So, so you, you're good about hiding your feelings then? Yeah, I mean, I'm really sensitive for sure. I mean, a lot of things hurt my feelings, but I will never, if someone hurts my feelings right in front of me, I'm not going to like cry about it in front of them because I don't want them to know that they did damage to me. Mm-hmm. But like behind the scenes, like I actually am really upset. Yeah, that makes sense. I like that, yeah. which is which is a good quality to have. I've <laughs> seen like a ton of stuff online, like a bunch of drama about your recent breakup and everything. Like, what's actually like going on with all that? So, you know, a lot of stuff has happened, and a lot of stuff has occurred, but I just don't think I'm gonna talk about that. I think that's something that I'm gonna keep personal and keep that's off fair. the internet that's fine yeah that's fair we like that keeping yourself private do you do you miss your ex um i think that's gonna be <laughs> the end of the podcast for me <laughs> okay right, that's all we got all right. all right. well i guess we're gonna move on to our chefs our chefs thank are coming you Gemma. Thank, thank you Gemma. Chefs. thank you guys yeah. you're freaking awesome. appreciate it all right guys so the chefs at the buckle house are in the house on the podcast. It's on the podcast. Big time. <laughs> Big time. And so Augie here, he does not do social media. So this is probably one of your first times behind camera, especially talking, I'd say. Yep. First time. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are married. Very young. Yeah. Very, very young. So what inspired that? So we got married at 20 years old. We, um, we've known each other since we were very young. We met in church. She's five months older, so she's a cougar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to his accent, too. That's crazy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we just, we have specific values, and we really wanted to get married before we moved in together. So, I love that. Um, obviously not for everyone. I'm not pushing that type of thing, but I would just say for us, like, it, it's, it's been a really big blessing, and I don't think that I would be where I am if we didn't do that. That's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. where are you guys from? You know, you guys live in Canada, but what's the background? Our nat- nationality nationality yeah. is uh, Serbian, both of us. Both of our parents are from Serbia. Um, but born and raised yeah. in Canada. Okay. Born like Toronto, Canada. Canada, yeah. Yeah, so, but we speak fluent. You can see by my accent. But give, <laughs> us, some, give, us, some talk, give us some talk in your, in your uh, natural, natural state here. 
Well, like, you want him to talk in Serbian? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Talk in Serbian. Say, say hi, my name is Dalton. Say hi, my name is Dalton. How would I say it? Zdravo, moje ime Moje ime je Dalton. Moje ime je Dalton. Moje ime je Dalton. Perfect. Oh. But seriously, though, guys, these people are incredible chefs. Incredible. They've been cooking for us. Yeah. Um, and she actually does social media. You want to tell them what your uh, social media handle is? So my um, niche is food, recipes. Um, my handle's at Maya's Recipes, but Maya with a J. Um, literally just started blowing up in December. I had, like, not even 10K followers, and in two months it went to, like, 200K, which is really great. The audience is amazing. Everyone's so nice, and it's been going really good. They've been crushing Absolutely it. Absolutely crushing, crushing it. it. The meals are insane. Insane. The smash burgers, so good. We went, we went from eating microwavable meals to eating some Serbian. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Just beautiful feud. Um, so what's y'all's no. thoughts on like coming out here for the Buckle House? It's like y'all's first type of brand trip, I guess. Ever. Yeah. yeah. We were kind of nervous. We're shocked <laughs> that yeah. we're even here with you guys. Like our favorite yeah, part of the cool trip experience. is probably like you guys. You guys just, have been so cool. We didn't know what to expect. I'm just hanging out with you guys. It's been yeah. a blast. No, it's been so fun. Are great. We didn't expect it, but you guys are. You guys yeah, are you see great. our social media and you're like, oh yeah. gosh, yeah. these guys. No, but you guys are funner than I than I expected. Well, we were even more blessed because whenever I heard that we were gonna have chefs here, I was thinking just they weren't old, gonna hang some out. Some old with people us. that would just come in and cook yeah. and get out of here, but we got this awesome young couple to hang out with. Have a good time. No, we with. all clicked like pretty well. Oh, yeah, very well. Super fast. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. I didn't expect that at all. First so night. cool. First like night. it's intimidating. Like you've never met someone and then like you don't know what to expect. We mm -hmm. we had no idea what we were in for, but like best case scenario. Yeah. So Augie, you came out and you're helping her cook, but what do you do back at home? Is it? I'm just like construction. Construction. Just like um, but I'm studying like civil engineering back mm -hmm. home actually. Um, I might finish it, might go back to that, but yeah. for now, just in construction. That's about yeah. it. We're trying to encourage them to start doing like <laughs> crazy couple, like cooking content. Yeah. They, yeah, we, we see them cooking as a couple, it. and they're so <laughs> cute, like doing it together. And like, he, you get a little shot on camera, you said, but you've been crushing it. <laughs> yep. And it's like, y'all got to start doing that. Couples cooking videos coming soon. Yeah, that's what we need. There's so, Maya, where do you see like your career going? Do you want to do like cookbooks or a cooking, even, y'all could even do a TV show. No, I'd be Something so down like for a cookbook. Like, I'm going to get okay. on YouTube shortly and everything, but social media, food blogging is the main goal, like, long-term for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. It's wonderful. Well, make sure you guys follow them. Uh, yeah. they got a lot of big stuff coming up. So, so what would it take for you guys to move to the States? Uh, I'm down. Just okay. convince Augie right now. <laughs> We're trying to get him in Nashville. Augie, <laughs> what would it take? I don't know. How many likes? <laughs> I gotta see. I got to see what I'm... I'm gonna start doing social media. I don't know what yet, but okay. You could do it with me. Oh. I'm just saying yeah. we need like. I feel like the states is like the best place to be for social media, and I just oh, the weather's way better than Canada. <laughs> yeah, Arizona. Arizona is a little different. We're in Arizona right now. Arizona is super nice. That's the reason why here. So I know you guys got married young, but like, are you guys gonna try and start a family young or? That's what I was this, wondering. When, yeah. when, are we got, when are we gonna have some kids? We're planning a family, hundred percent. It'd be nice. obviously not ready but for it right now. Okay. I, I do like when couples have kids young. Yeah. I like that. I think that's, that's, that's very sister. cute. I think it's nice because I feel like when people, when you do it later in life, it's. I wouldn't say it's harder. I just feel like when you're younger, it's easier to kind of like adjust in your personality and you can like you know mature together and stuff. And I feel like that's yeah. that's a big blessing to have. So obviously nothing's planned, but yeah. That's the good thing about getting married young, though, because y'all can enjoy two, three, four years even without yeah, wasting time yeah. and then have kids and you're still ahead of the game. So it's yeah, like, it's not like we got married and we're like stressed right away. Absolutely oh, amazing. Yeah. Well, beautiful. Um, hopefully we have a lot of more trips with everybody. Oh, yeah. Um, you guys are seriously incredible. All of your guys' food, even just you guys yeah, in general are food, awesome. Um, I really, really hope to see you guys on more trips and I hope that we all get to go together because uh, I think it's going to be a blast. And I think it's been... I mean, ideal the ideal week the ideal yeah. week guys it's been great stay tuned for great. some more content we love you guys so much please give everybody that's been on the podcast a follow we're going to drop all of their ads i love you guys see you guys next week goodbye see ya bye super super yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you crushed it you crushed it that was good what the fuck yeah, yeah. that wasn't bad no it's not I want to give a huge shout out to Buckle. They've made everything incredible this entire week. Um, and we're so, so 
blessed to have all this stuff that we've been doing. Yep. Seriously. Very true. For the rest of my life, if I had to choose one clothing brand, I could I could live out of. I could too. No, they, they have, have everything: swimwear, golf wear, like street style, everything. country style, yeah, sunglasses, hats, and they're like they're still like expanding. Mm-hmm. Incredible. Yeah. Something about like even girls wearing like all the country stuff, like yeah, it's gets me over. going. When they when they have boots on and they're looking cute, I love it. So if you're a dude or if you're a girl out there and you guys are looking to like mix up your style, I swear, go to Buckle, get some jeans, get some shirts. Girls. Yeah, like don't waste your time in the mall. There's one store you need.